guys, it has been a very long time since I've uploaded anything to this channel and I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to kind of try and revive this channel with Luna's comeback coming up. I know there was one in between when I last posted a video and this more recent comeback for Midnight. Um, I think the last thing I uploaded, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the last thing was the unboxing for the group order I did for uh, the Butterfly album. So, gosh, what was it? XX um, or Multiply Multiply, however you want to describe it. But I thought um, kind of to just like get hyped for the Luna comeback, I would share my collection with you guys and hopefully I'll be able to start doing more of these videos in the future. So this might be like a little mini series. I'm going to show you guys my photo cards and gosh, all the other things <laughs> that they have um, that go like in binders. And then I'll do albums and all the other things <laughs> that Luna have. Um, so I have some of them kind of in the background here and some fan made things and some non Luna things, but you know, we'll get to everything at some point. So. To get started, this is, I have two binders for photo cards and I do collect every single member. Um, the only things that I don't collect all members for are broadcast cards and then like merchandise items. So um, you guys can maybe see in the background, I have Yojin and Vivi's keychains and I actually have Heejin's over here, but I don't remember if that's in frame, that's fine. But I don't buy every single piece of merch for every person because I, would go bankrupt um but i do try to do photo cards so um with the exception of broadcast cards or the you know ultra rare attendance cards so my first page for this album is just um or not this album but for this binder would be the attendance cards for each person in their respective color and then these were um stickers made by one of my favorite fan artists they do a lot of k-pop stuff but also a lot of luna in particular and I actually have um, it's the same as the stickers but I have a set of the keychains which I don't typically get uh, fan made merch or fan items because I, I sort of am like I'm already spending so much money on actual official items that I don't have much to spend on the non-official things but I love this artist and I love their work so I'm really happy that I have these um, stickers as fillers for this first page. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so actually getting started, these are obviously the solo album release cards and I have it divided by obviously all 12 members for their individual like hollow backed cards. And then the next page you'll see are the little like subunits or in the case of Kimlip and Eve, the um, like B version solo cards. And I do really love these. I mean, I, this is part of what I loved about Luna in the first place was just that they had a non selfie cards, which uh, I know, like, I'm kind of in the, I always feel like I'm in the minority for preferring posed cards over selfie cards. But, and I know that for the last album, for the Hash album, we got selfie cards for pretty much everything. And I have mixed feelings about that. I'm really hoping with Midnight coming up soon that we will have um, maybe like a split set. So Dreamcatcher, one of my other alt groups, is really good at doing kind of a mix of posed cards, so something more like this, and selfie cards. So, you know, for example, the Lose Myself album had an absurd amount of sets in general, but like most of them were posed sets and then they were like the limited sets that had um, selfies, which I really liked and I kind of would hope that maybe Luna would mm, like find a balance of doing maybe half and half or something. Like the normal albums have the poses, the limited albums have the selfies or something like that. But anyways, for these cards, if you're not super familiar with Luna, the first pressed albums came with, you know, the individual cards and the other press albums that are coming out, like, still now, um, I think, for most of the members, don't have this hollow card on the back. Every card had, like, a number on it. I don't really remember what the number, if we ever, like, determined in the fandom what the number was actually for, or, like, the specialness of these. I really think, honestly, it's just to indicate, like, what press or what number you got of the photo card. 
So most of mine are somewhere either in like the thousand range or maybe in the hundreds. My lowest card, my lowest number card, not that it matters, <laughs> but I just find these things interesting, is this Yojin, and I'm at 82. So that's my lowest for the hollow back cards. And one of the things I do really love about these is I loved the, the use of their individual member colors. And um, I don't know, I, I love Luna as a full group. And I obviously have my biases, which I'll talk about in a minute. So this one was 251. You've got Jinsoul's blue here. But I loved like the hype around each like, you know, month, which I know we didn't get every single month um, because we had the subunits and rest time and everything. But I do miss that. And, you know, maybe in a year or two, or hopefully when Luna's maybe had a few more full group comebacks, we could start to see subunits again. Or, you know, some solo stuff would be fun. Um, I will try and say, I think, hmm, I'll try and give like a favorite card from each set. I love Vivi's cards. These are just so stunning and I love, like, I mean, I love all of the cards too, but I also really love Heejin's concept here. And, um, I don't know. They're just, these, these four are some of my favorites. I obviously love Hustle. This one is one of my favorites just because I love the, like, Iceland theme or, like, everything that came from that was just perfect to me. Yojin should be here and I actually think that I I'm actually realizing I'm pretty sure I just screwed this up when I like took some of these out for photos and put them back I'll fix that later I'm not gonna do it now but technically yes these this these four should be up here and Vivi should be down here we're gonna ignore that Woo, pretend it's not here okay um now into the subunits um in this top row I I mean, I guess the way I'll describe this is that I don't always lay things out in the most consistent fashion or in like maybe what's the most normal fashion to do stuff. I do this with twice too, where I like to try and spread things across the page in a way that is aesthetically pleasing to me. So I currently have some of my extra attendance cards here, which, you know, in case you aren't familiar, you probably are, but these came with the albums. I don't think they're printed in the albums anymore because they're not doing these fan signs, obviously. Um, and so this is go on, for example, and then you, you know, would go and you'd get your little stamp. And I, you know, I'm in the US, so I clearly didn't get any of those and I didn't try to track one down. And they were clearly in the members color. So I like rainbow things. So I put a little rainbow ahead up there. Um, and then we have the Luna One Third um, Love and Live or Love and Live. I don't remember what it's actually technically supposed to call. I always said Love and Live or Love and Live. Yeah, I said Love and Live actually. Um, but we have the normal version on this side and then the limited versions here. And then we have the repackage for Love and Evil, which Sonatine is still one of my like absolute all time favorites for Luna songs in general. It's just so gorgeous and I love the kind of unexpected flair to it. Um, so I, I still, like that song has such a special place for me. But these are the normal cards and these are the limited. And I think, you know, from this set, I didn't do this for the last one. My, honestly, my favorite card is probably Hostel's. She, the, the normal Hostel for the Love and Live album. I mean, Hustle is my bias, and that does make her absence kind of hard for, you know, multiple comebacks and multiple, like, merch cycles at this point. But at the end of the day, I really just hope she's getting the time she needs to rest, and hopefully she'll be back with us soon. But, you know, I have other girls that I love in this group. Um, Vivi is also one of my ultimate biases, um, really, and so... You know, and like, obviously I collect everyone. So, you know, there's always like people to collect and be excited over in this group. Um, but anyways, we also then have OEC, so Odd Eye Circle. We have the normal cards here for mix and match and the limited cards for mix and match. Then we have the repackage for max and match, uh, normal and limited over here. And I do think from like that set of cards, I mean, I love this card. I know it's really simple, but it's just like Jinsoul looks so stunning in that card. Um, for some reason, it's just one of my favorites. 
And then we only have our one set of YY by Y cards. Uh, we've got the normal beauty and the beat cards, and then we've got the limited cards here. Hmm, I think my favorite's probably go ons. Like I she looks like an angel here. Alright, now we have our first full group like we have the full group debut that's what we have here um so i really i mean obviously i've been following luna since heejin's debut so and then you know when hustle came out like i loved hyunjin too but hustle really was like the girl that made me think like okay i'm going to stan luna and um you know that was a long time before they debuted as a full group so you know finally getting this full group debut was so exciting. I'm so happy that I was around like when they like I was a fan already when this started because it just was so special um for everyone that had been waiting and waiting and waiting. So, I think you know, this set will always have a special place in my heart even though Hi Hi isn't actually my favorite song from Luna. It still was really good and I really enjoyed Favorite and like the B-sides of that album too. So, um, you know, we've got this set and this set. I think, you know, between the two, I favor this set because we got so much merch from the debut concert that also was this, like, white outfit, white background vibe. And while I do like that for some of the pictures, it also was, like, so plain um, a little bit and also felt kind of school uniformy, which obviously it's supposed to feel school uniformy, but... We got so much of this set and I wish we had more of this set for some of the other merch, but you know, that's all fine. Um, I think from this, I do love Jin Soul's cardigan. Hasel looks adorable and so does Vivi. I think in here I do love Vivi and I also love Heejin's card, especially because you get Hasel and Kim Lip like creeping in the background, which, you know, this whole set is honestly adorable. I really love it. And again, yeah, I wish we had more um, of that. So now we get, and you know, there are technically from the limited albums, the like unit cards or the full group cards. And I'll show you where those are in my binder in a few, but I try to actually organize things in chronological order. So not by like album versus event, but just when things happened and it's not perfect, but you know, it, it works for me. So these are the cards. This is the set from the Line and Up event. And we had one card per member. And, you know, not surprisingly, I think Hostel's card is my favorite from that. Um, and then we had the Luna Studio sets and we had um, two for each member in these sets. And I kind of tried to organize these by like, this page is smiling. And then this is like not the smiling page, even though some people are smiling in both. So like you have Heejin smiling here and you have Heejin smiling there, but then, you know, are like kissy poses or like pouts or whatever. I tried to, you guys are going to see <laughs> as we get into some of the other larger sets. Um, it's really hard to like make sets of your own. Um, the season's greetings cards will always drive me insane because, you know, Hostel didn't get a cute pajama photo card, but whatever, it's fine. I'm not bitter. Um, <laughs> but here are the uh, limited cards for both the plus plus and multiply multiply or like plus plus xx, however you want to call the album. Um, we've got these two limiteds here, the little subunits, the tall and small group. Um, same here. And then we have these subunits, which I organize by debut order, which is basically how I organize everything. So even though, you know, you've got Olivia Hay and she was the 12th girl, we have Heejin, we have Hyunjin Chori, uh, Hassel Kim Lip, Vivi Yojin, which like, you know, that way, and then Jin Sol Gohan and Eve and Chu. So that's how that is set up. And now we get to the butterfly sets and you know, Butterfly was my, like, my second favorite song of the year, um, and it only got beat out by I Use Above the Time, um, which, like, 
made me cry. So, um, you know, it's a really special song to me. I really loved it. And I felt like they started to get some more of the recognition that they deserve. Um, with that song and album and that album also has so many b-sides I love too so you know one of my favorites I really loved the simplicity of these two sets almost you know I kind of criticize the the plus plus set for being a little basic in what we get with that card set whereas I know these are sort of similar but there's just such like an ethereal vibe that really fit the concept that you know, they all look stunning with this. So I think hmm, my favorite cards, I love Olivia Hayes card here. I think she just looks gorgeous. And like her pout is just like iconic here. Um, and then this set is just one of my favorites in general. Everyone looks gorgeous. I don't really know if I could pick a favorite. I'm not going to bother trying to. Um, okay, then we have the Luniverse signed photo card lottery set. And these, you had to, gosh, you had to be at the event, and you also had to, like, you won these through the lottery. And these were kind of difficult to get. They weren't too bad, but they definitely got expensive, and, you know, like, I overpaid a lot for this Hassel card when it first came out. Um, but some of the other cards I got for a pretty good price, they're all kind of expensive. And then the last two cards that I was chasing down forever were Kim Lips and Jin Souls, and I finally completed that not too long ago, honestly, even though Butterfly was, like, over a year, <laughs> um, obviously over a year ago, so really happy to have this set. Um, I think these are kind of hard to find now, and yeah, I do really enjoy them, especially since, like, they all look gorgeous in this, um, even though I don't really like turtlenecks, but they all can rock them. They look gorgeous. <laughs> um, okay, then we have oh god this is orbit 2.0 yeah for a second i was like is this the season's greetings no it's not um and the orbit 2.0 cards are really cute i do really like that they had the like yellow and green just like general picnic concept going and everyone looks adorable i think hmm i think hyunjin's cards is card is one of my favorites with the little cat details it's just adorable all right so now we have the uh, oh god is this meeting up i always forget yes the the meeting up greeting set which this is when so this is when i started to get annoyed a little bit with whoever makes the decisions for their photo cards um just because a lot of the cards not for everyone but for a lot of them like start to look the same or like they're so minorly different and that's always my issue with selfie cards in general, which is just you get some groups that it literally becomes like, ah, no, wait, like, I swear this is a different card. Like, Eve tilted her head a little bit more to the left. Like, aha, it's different, which I hate. <laughs> I hate playing that game. Um, I want, like, distinct looking photo cards if I'm getting, like, 50 in a set. But, you know, that's my own issue. Um, I do for these sets organize them in these full 12 member sets because there's only five cards per member and that created like a weird gap in how my binder was laid out which bothered me so I went with this but you'll see I actually switched that up for the so what set so yeah I mean I don't love the giant sets for that reason but I am clearly gonna keep collecting them and yeah so these are then the season greetings cards, which I have similar complaints only in the sense that Hustle never got a pajama shot card, which I think those sets are probably my favorite over the evening cards, but they're really gorgeous and really adorable cards in the first place. Then we now have the so what cards, and obviously we didn't have Hustle present for this comeback. Anyways, for this set, this was the first time that we got the uh, purely selfie set, with the exception, I guess, of Choi and Vivi right here. But I kind of am hoping, like, some of these are gorgeous, like, Goan is devastatingly stunning in both of her cards. But I do prefer, like, a mix of the pose and the selfie cards. Um, this is the My Music Taste set, and that was also the first time we got, like, a My Music Taste pre-order benefit. I'm a little concerned that this next comeback is going to have 
you know, like 18 pre-order benefits, like from My Music Taste and Make Star and K-Town and maybe BBC's own site. Hopefully it'll only be like one or two, um, so I don't have to, you know, like sell a kidney to get all of the pre-order benefits, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, then we have the So What premiere concert, whatever it was called, uh, set for, uh, that, and this also kind of suffered from some of the, like, same pose things for the selfies. Hyunjin in particular, I love her, but she always makes this face like, always in her selfies, and I, like, kind of just wish she did a little few different things, but overall, this was a better set in the sense of, um, like, for most of the other members, it wasn't the exact same pose every single time. They did try and kind of do a little bit more variation, and I do love these, like, flower dress shots for Go On and Chu, and this watermelon card for Eve is adorable. <laughs> Okay, so then we get to the Orbit, uh, the first Orbit fan club, and then the second Orbit fan club. Usually I actually have these cards, like, turned around the other way, um, but those show my full name, so I'm gonna have them set up like this for right now. And then we have the Luna Studio in Seoul group photo card, and then we have my broadcast cards. And I do not collect all of the members for broadcast cards, just because... These are usually really expensive and I am a multi-stan so I typically am spending money on Dreamcatcher and Twice and Luna and got like a million other groups so I just can't afford to get all of the cards but I do try and pick up my favorites for you know my bias is and um, other members too. So I have these three for hustle or not hustle for high high. And there are two versions, but I only have these three cards. I might try and find Hoswell's card, like her other version of this at some point, but, you know, these were expensive when I got them in the first place, and I can't imagine that they've uh, gotten any cheaper. So um, we might just stick with what I have on this page. Um, but then we have the version one for Butterfly, and I have one version two, and that is for Hassel. You know, like, the version 2 cards are pretty hard to find. I didn't get this card until recently, and, you know, Butterfly came out quite some time ago at this point. Um, initially, I think I just started out with, um, not that card, I started out with these three cards and then expanded out to, to these three as well because I just loved them. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It does fill the page nicely. Um... <laughs> And then we have two So What broadcast cards, and these were kind of weird broadcast cards in the sense that, you know, the world decided to end right around when So What came out, so they didn't get to do um, the typical broadcast promotion that you would see, like what we had with Butterfly or Hi Hi. Um, so people won these, I think, through streaming. They got the full sets, and then people sold them off at crazy prices. Um, and I did just, I picked up Vivi and Hyunjin. Um, you know, Vivi is one of my favorites and especially with Hustle being gone, she's kind of the person that I'm putting all of my collecting attention toward right now. But I also really do love Hyunjin and happy to have that card. So, and these were actually, this Hyunjin I like just picked up recently. So, you know, you don't always have to get everything the second it comes out. <laughs> But that is my first binder. All right, and before we move to the next binder, because I just showed broadcast cards, um, these are two really special cards to me. And um, one I'm not gonna show the front of, and this one I will not show the back of. <laughs> but um, these two cards are the pre-debut, so like the Odd Eye Circle broadcast card for Jinsel, and one of the attendance cards for Vivi from Hi Hi Promotions. I love this card. I think it's one of her most adorable cards, and I really loved Singing in the Rain, and you know, Jinsel just, I, like, she is one of my, like, top girls in this group, so I'm really happy to have this. I would like to find one of Hassel's or Vivi's um, Luna One Third broadcast cards, but those are so hard to find that I don't know if I will ever track one down. And then this card, which 
I just, you know, I won't show the front of, which I feel bad about, but I, I don't want to risk having people make replicas of it, is the VV High High Attendance card. And there are five, there's either five or ten, I don't remember, there's five or ten attendance sets in the world. And um, someone I know on Instagram was hosting a group order. They found a set of the high high set, uh, high high cards, and I couldn't get Hostel, but I was able to snag VVs for what I think is a pretty fair price. Um, of course, it was expensive, but I am so happy to have this in my set, um, or in my set, my in my collection. Um, it's really special to me, and I. I'm really happy I was able to find one. I don't think I will ever have the opportunity to get one in the future. So those are two really special cards. I keep them in my little cases here. And yeah, next binder. Okay, so this is my second Luna binder. And there isn't much in it yet, but we do have the new comeback coming up. Um, so it'll get filled very soon, I'm sure. Um, these are um, also stickers made by a fan artist, and I don't remember who off the top of my head. I'll try and track it down and then put both of the fan artists from this page and my first other binder page in the description of the video so you can go check out their art. Oh, and then these are just little printed sheets for the background. These are the Luna Orbit light stick pre-order benefit. So you had to be a member of the fan club and pre-order the light stick at a certain time uh, to get these photo cards. They were obviously they have the little subunits and then individual member cards and one big group card. I, you know, clearly there weren't 24 cards so I've just used some of my extra attendance cards to fill in the gaps. But I do love these. I think they're really gorgeous and even though I typically don't like selfie cards. I really like this set and the the cape. Like, I, I will never get over this cape because it's just so funny that we now have a cape and this giant light stick. Um, but they all look gorgeous and I do really love this selfie st set, even if I'm not a huge selfie fan in general. Okay, and now we have the summer package and concept layout, which is a little different than how I usually, or well, than how I'm sure most people are laying out their cards. I am doing this just kind of by member in um, a way I can display the, the stickers and the photo cards from like the actual concept event versus just the summer package. So how I have it is um, the sticker from the summer package, the pre-order benefit from pre-ordering the summer package, and then these hollow cards are the concept zone photo cards that you would get from spending 35,000 won, I think is what it was, um, which is like roughly, I don't know, like $35, 30 something dollars. And I do not have the full set yet. I have a few cards on the way and I'm still looking for one chew card in like, I don't have it on the way. Um, and usually in my binders, I will put a sticky note from, like, who I'm expecting the card so I don't forget to, like, track it down if it doesn't arrive. Um, but here is Hyunjin's Row. Yo, Jin's Row. I'm just waiting on that card. Um, and, like, Ayuna the World is who I'm getting it from, and they have the most amazing Luna collection. Um, they collect all the broadcast cards, too, and they have pre-debut broadcast cards, which are impossible to find so they, I mean they have just a really really impressive Luna collection um anyways we have Vivi's set I love this card it's so cute um we have Kim Lip and this card was the first card that I bought in this set um actually this card and Heejin's I bought at the same time because they were my favorites the flower crown and the balloons were just so so cute um probably my favorite cards of this set too we have Jinsel Chori, Eve, Chu, and this is the card that I have to just find in general. <laughs> I don't have it on the way. I, I mean, it's just it's so hard to find. Every time I see it come up on eBay, it immediately disappears. And same with on Instagram. So, hopefully, I'll find it. Um, go on, and then we've got Olivia here, here, and we have the 
card that came in the like clear little wallet from the summer concept zone. And we have some like gaps, which I'll maybe make placeholders. I don't know, we'll have to figure that out. But that is it for now. And then hopefully soon, these will be full with midnight photo cards. So that is it for my photo cards. I'm gonna try and then get to the next set of things. And that'll be like the tickets and other like larger items that don't fit in like nine or 12 page pockets. And yeah, I hope you guys will look forward to it. Bye.